But it's something very difficult to do that would take a lot of money and which, by the way, is not even like probably would not even be efficient if it would work. What we see today is more a communication um, mechanism in order to avoid speaking about what is really needed, tests, masks, drugs, and stuff like that. And on top of that, it's very dangerous anyway, because even if it were possible, which it is probably not, and even if it were efficient, which it will, it is probably not also, uh, then it will be a great danger to privacy. But, but Jean-Baptiste, you, you but, agree that to, to come out of confinement, we need, uh, uh, as the head of the WHO says, testing, mm -hmm. testing, testing, and in this case, contact tracing. So yeah, you're going to need something. The South Koreans have it. Uh, the, they, they're using it in Singapore. Why, why can't we have it? Well, in Singapore, it is not widely used, and it is not how they manage to tackle the infection. Uh, in South Korea, for example, it, the way they do it, contact tracing can be done two ways. Either you put something in the smartphone of people, or you hire people. You hire experimented engineers, doctors, mm -hmm. who will trace stuff by hand. They will just ask questions, ask you to fill in forms, and try to understand who you have been meeting before being tested positive, and then uh, they will publish. That's what they do in Korea, for example. Right, Anjenote, uh, what's your reaction to that prediction that this will never see the light of day, this app? No, two things. First, it's a tool among many tools, and the uh, manual tracing through people has to be put in place, uh, even if this is very intrusive. As a doctor, I can confirm that uh, inquiring about uh, who you have met for the last two weeks and who you were with uh, for the last two weeks is very intrusive and very intrusive in your private life. And the second point is that regarding the money, it's not a question of money. Our president has clearly said whatever it costs. So the problem is not a problem of money. The problem is saving lives. That's it. Point. Anka Domscheit Berg, what's your prediction? Well, I believe that the French central version will also not come to see the light, but for totally different reasons. I do not believe that it takes hundreds of millions to do this. I also do not believe that it's uh, that we don't have enough uh, software developers to do this because some countries have done it in some way and uh, others are on their way. And um, there's already open source code uh, out to to see that. I believe that France will not be able to do it because it this central version of an application requires cooperation of Apple because they have to change something deep into the iOS system and this will not happen. It will just not happen. And without that, the French app will not work. And um, also we have the issue of interoperability. It makes a lot of sense to have a system of apps to be interoperable to each uh, within each other or between each other within Europe. And we have uh, several countries now going the decentral way, which is not only Germany as a new country, it's also the Netherlands, it's Austria, it's also Switzerland, uh, which is also one of our neighboring countries. And then we have the decision of the European Commission and of the European Parliament, which have been very much in favor of the decentral solution. And I heard that one uh, French uh, person saying that there will be no issue whatsoever, he said that in Parliament, and nobody can ever have uh, inappropriate access to the data. But whenever you store sensitive data in a central database, it is vulnerable. 